having a company that has been more innovative and saying, okay, we're not going to go with the traditional monopolistic cable mentality and we're going to move towards the types of companies that we aspire to be in our relationship with our customers, whether it's, you know, service oriented companies like American Express or Zappos or, um, you know, sort of the the integration like Wenda talks about of like technology with digital, with, with traditional linear programming. Um, so it's really, to me, we're at like a critical inflection point where the world is changing and we're, you know, we're no longer a monopoly and we're a company that delivers, you know, the internet to people's homes. And we, my goal is to wrap all that in a really good service product. So um, when we go out to Silicon Valley, I always say none of the people that work in Silicon Valley, they don't want to have trucks, they don't want to answer phones, they don't want to go into people's homes, and we do that, and we do it really well. So to take that sort of unglamorous aspect of what we do and make it something that you know our employees are proud of and that our customers feel is a great experience is really sort of a, a non-traditional telecommunications opportunity, but one that we're really intrigued by. So I'm excited about that. As the industry is changing, what are the opportunities for young people to enter the field? Um, well, to me, it's an exciting industry for anybody to enter. I, you know, I came up through uh, humanities. I didn't have a business background. I was English undergrad and then, you know, got my degree in publishing and ultimately a degree in English literature. And, and you know, the advice I give people is really about communication skills. Um, you know, unless you're in a specific technology, if you're in engineering or IT, but um, coming into our industry, you get exposed to so many different things and just really being open to trying things outside of your comfort zone, um, being open to maybe you think you want to go into production, but you end up in marketing or you never want to go into sales, but you end up doing it for the experience and just really coming into our industry as, as open-minded as possible with you know, being present and available to new experiences and new challenges. I think, you know, for me, like I said, 26 years in the industry and I've done all different things because I got the opportunity to do it and I, you know, generally embrace those opportunities and that allowed me to just keep doing more. So I think being open-minded, um, enthusiastic and being able to really communicate is is really the recommendation I have. As far as entering the industry, the other thing that I think is really interesting given sort of millennials um, and being about the power of the collective is you can take that enthusiasm for group think and for um, sort of group outcomes and that can allow you to be really successful in jobs that might not traditionally feel attractive. So working in a call center might not sound glamorous, but when you think about the opportunities to lead a team, to um, embellish an experience for a customer, and to really cultivate technology and new perspectives on service into a job, um, things that might not on the surface appear interesting or appealing can actually become gateways to really interesting careers. Cable television business is really different from what it was when you started. What are the opportunities in what we call this advanced TV world? You know, what are the opportunities now as a career, as a as a job opportunity? Uh, there's a variety of things. I mean, again, it's a, it's a service business, but because of the integration of of really IP television, of advanced advertising and analytics, there's a lot more jobs. I think for data science, for um, design, um, as we move towards more to, more open platforms. Um, whether it's on an Android application type basis or um, in some of the more closed systems like the, the opportunity to do interface design or to do um, presentation layers on the television or to do dynamic advertising insertion and there's just a, a wide variety of technical opportunities but again I also think like the, the big differentiator is going to be service and being comfortable sort of thinking through what you need to do to create a brand and an experience for a customer is very different than when we first came into this business and people were chasing the cable truck down the street because they really wanted service. You know, now it's about bringing that to a new level, moving beyond telecommunications and really embracing um, what is really a vital sort of service into the home for people's connectedness to each other and to the world. So it's, um, it's an interesting time. It's very different, as you said. And for women, you know, I've never, I never faced any sort of glass ceilings. I was actually attracted to cable TV because I had been working in publishing, which was a much more male-dominated uh, traditional industry. And when I came into cable, I worked with and for a lot of amazing women who, you know, moved up through the ranks and, and who held, you know, positions that 
there never really felt like a glass ceiling and that was really attractive to me at 23, 24 years old and, and I hope that that continues to be the way things work in television and in media and in advertising.